Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Wednesday, July 24th, 2013. All right, uh, market affecting news on tap for today. Uh, we have these three that are starred here, and the red star is on new home sales, which, you know, if, it, if it's based on existing home sales, it's going to be pretty good. So that's it for today, and since this for me is the last video of this week, um, for Thursday we have uh, a couple of red stars here for durable, durable good or goods orders and jobless claims, and then on Friday consumer sentiment. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of projecting into the future on anything that I might do. Not going to be able to trade at all or do anything on Thursday because that's. Uh, I'll be on the road and don't have a smartphone. Friday, however, I may have some time to take a peek at what's going on periodically during the day. And then I'll be back on Monday, July 29th. Okay, taking a peek at Asia. Asia was kind of mixed. Um, there wasn't a whole heck of a lot of good news out of Asia from the market perspective yesterday, so it looks like there is a small pullback going on there. But in Europe, uh, things are looking pretty good, and it may have something to do, I don't know, with Apple's earnings. I don't know how much Europe is affected by that, but Apple stock uh, is going to probably gap up this morning based on their uh, earnings announcement, which their earnings wasn't all that hot, but I guess they sold a lot of iPhones. <laughs> so a lot more than uh, than um, the forecasters predicted. And you know Apple likes to keep stuff close to the vest. Okay, so let's take a peek at the futures here. We have, um, I'm going to take a look at uh, the NASDAQ right here because that's where Apple trades most predominantly. It does have a bit of weighting in the S&P 500 but mostly you know when when Apple does well it lifts a lot of other techs as well. So the NASDAQ is looking up almost a whole percentage point this morning. We have gold at uh, 1339 still hanging in there above 1300 we like to see that and we have crude down a tad but you know I'm hitting the road tomorrow and gas prices are sort of at a recent low so that is a real shocker but you know that changes minute by minute and probably by the time I get to Indiana it'll be up to close to four dollars a gallon that's the way it's works for me. As I drive towards Wisconsin, the price of gas, they see me doing it and they just start pumping up the price. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm sure they, uh, I'm sure that has nothing to do with it, right? Right? Okay. Um, uh, also, I missed my IWM trade yesterday because I was stuck at the oil change place they forgot to bring my car in I'm sitting there for like a half hour and in 45 minutes car still sitting out there so I get up and I go what the heck is this story and I go oh geez they pulled in the wrong car I don't know how they could do that I feel sorry for that car I don't know what they did to it but they pulled in the wrong one so I got a free oil change but I ended up having to sit there through my 3.30 alarm and I didn't get out until a little bit after 4 was not able to do my IWM trade yesterday so I was a little disappointed well that's an understatement so let's take a look at IWM just a quick look we'll take a peek at a chart here uh, our short is at Let's see here. Our short is at uh, 104. 
So, chart, here we go. 104 is down here. So, um, so we got a gap up here today. We're probably okay. Will I do one tonight or this afternoon? Uh, I might. I might. Um, I might be available to do one at 3.30 today. So we will take a look at that. Or I will anyway. You don't have to, but I will. I have to stop saying that we stuff because it's really me. You don't have to. So I have to stop saying that. So I'm going to work on that. All right, so indices, we can close that. Let's go back here. Uh, Goldman Sachs. Um, Goldman Sachs. Let's take a look at this chart. Uh, Looked like it might have wanting to pull back a tad yesterday. I'm just going to let this one hang in there for a while and see what happens. I might get really burnt on it, but... I'm not going to do anything about it right now. LinkedIn, this is our iron condor. Uh, it looks like uh, it's moving in our favor right now as we march towards earnings uh, next week. Is that Wednesday? Is it August 1st, Wednesday? No, it's Thursday. Okay, so we got some time here for this to mature a little bit. Maybe we can collect some more data on that. Problem is, again, is this increasing implied volatility that is hurting us. So if I was to take a look at this, okay, so price is backing down a little bit. Maybe we might get, you know, something favorable out of that, but uh, this is an August iron condor. All right, so if earnings comes along and we get a volatility collapse, that is going to be happy days are here again, provided the price um, hangs out here. What's kind of surprising here is that we probably won't get a whole heck of a lot of uh, IV collapse because these are past, the expiration is well past earnings. So there's not going to be a whole heck of a lot. But... You can bet that as we edge towards earnings, these numbers are going up, although not in giant steps or anything, but probably in you know, like 1% or 2% increases um, in percentage points, not in percent of percent. So uh, that may be happening, and that always is something that we have to fight here with our current profitability line here, the white line. So uh, that's what happens when you are counting on theta. And a vega beats you up. And then let's take a look at Netflix. All right, so I have had... Um, some suggestions that maybe I might want to roll this trade into, say, for instance, roll the July 4 into August. Well, I'm not really going to do that right now, especially if price keeps moving down, because I can actually make more money by not rolling if price moves to this uh, strike price of 225 by Friday. Is it going to do that? I don't know. I have no idea. Any trades this morning? Uh, come on, chart. Waiting for data. Am I going to get a... Oops, performance problem. What's going on here? Pause while I wait. I finally got it. I don't know what was going on. The little thing up at the top here that... You probably can't see it. it. was telling me that I was trying to reconnect. So there haven't been any trades so far today. We have zero volume. So I don't know where it's going to move here. We're looking at a possible gap up this morning. So, All right. So the other reason for not doing anything here is the uh, extrinsic value. Since this strike is out of the money, all of this value here is time. So I am waiting for that to bleed off a little bit too. 
and maybe that will uh, increase today as well unless price moves down and if it does that then the possibility of IV increasing increases all right um, I think that's it for my current positions and we can just move right on to the A plus list and uh, let's uh, peek at Apple here and see what it did after market. It closed at uh, 419 and then popped up as high as 442 before uh, coming back and regaining some of its sanity. So it's already trading today. We are looking at almost 9,000 shares traded already. So uh, that's where that one is. And if we take a look at the chart, we're going to get our dividend. This is an annual dividend. No, it's quarterly dividend. Okay. Um, so we're looking at uh, probably something to gap up here, around here, someplace today, and we get we will get a sweet little hookup but we're in a downtrend we're in a downtrend down down so whether it sustains it or not we don't know we would need uh, some sort of change here in the moving 50 ma uh, or in the 50 ma over here we do have a little bit of a tweak up here in momentum on the weekly but we just got too many things going against us right now not saying that that's predicting price just saying that that is against our rules and I've done a couple against the rules things that didn't work out very well eh, even following the rules sometimes things don't work out that's part of the game okay Amazon uh, earnings 725 just not touching it I'm staying away from earnings for right now but I will I uh, wanted to let you know that I am going to continue to focus heavily on calendars because there are ways to play calendars profitably with uh, not very much risk Okay, we're in an uptrend here. We have earnings um, tomorrow, today, on Baidu. That should be interesting. We'll see how this works out. I'm going to take this target off of there. It no longer applies because of earnings. We just need to wait for things to settle down. And it only takes a couple of days, maybe a week or two, max after earnings for things to settle down. Uh, this is a dumb trend line here. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, actually, uh, we have earnings here. We're just going to get rid of all drawings on this one. And we're going to just start from scratch after earnings on this one as well. See, F. Um, they're predicting earnings up here. I'm going to delete all these drawings. And start over with this one after they have their earnings. There are not multiple weeklies here, so we'll take a pass on that. Chipotle. Uh, they did have earnings. We're waiting for a new target over here. So we will see how that one works out for us. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so Chipotle, uh, maybe something coming up. Gold, I'm just going to skip that. It's just been wild and flying all over the place. Google, and that was for the sake of time. Google had their earnings, uh, their pretty damn good earnings. We're in an uptrend. Um, we have a hook here below 45, which is pretty good. We're down here, we're down here, down here, and down here. 
uh, not interested. Too many uh, reinforcements of our rules or confirmations against us or against me or against a trade. So we'll take a pass on that. Remember, we want confirmation on some of these other indicators here. Weeklies are down, down. Uh, the 9MA is up, though. And then we have on the dailies, MACD, both indicators are down. Um, yeah, this is a dark red, so this is down. This is a light red, which is up. And this is magenta, which is down. And actually our 9MA also is magenta, which is down. So nothing there. Goldman Sachs. <clears throat> How we looking there? Uh, everything's looking pretty up here. So things are not moving in our favor on this bear called. But we'll see what happens. I'll wait probably till next week to do anything about that LinkedIn. Uh, we looked at that one for the Iron Condor, but we didn't look at it for a trend or a spread because we have earnings. So we're not going to do anything with that. Uh, short term, things are looking pretty. Momentum is uh, moving away out of this um, position or out of this underlying doesn't mean price is moving down, it just means momentum is moving out. Same thing over here on the weekly short term is down. Long term is still up. But nothing there, mainly because of earnings. MasterCard, we have earnings coming up. Not going to touch that. Netflix, we uh, beat that one to death. Priceline, we have earnings coming up here. Earnings are always uh, pretty wild for Priceline. Um, looking like as though it is hanging in there. This might be um, a squeeze uh, a trade in here before. I don't see anything that makes me want to get in. I got nine moving down, um, momentum moving down. We do have a hook down here and we do have an uptrend, but that's the only two things in our favor. And the weekly, the short term MACD is moving down, and so is the stochastic. So, not looking real good for any sort of directional trade on Priceline to try to squeeze something in here. Just because there's multiple weeklies here and we we could possibly squeeze something in here. But we're not. Okay, Panera. Well, that's interesting. What's their earnings? 176. So they missed by two and a half cents. Oh, beat the hell out of them. That was some ride yesterday, wasn't it? Wow. If you were long a put. You made a lot of money yesterday. So you bought one at the money the day before. Uh, you would have done really, really well during the day. That was... Oh, that's the, that's the close. Wow. Let's look here. Uh, so the conference call is today. The earnings were last night. That's why this was acting kind of crazy. Let's look over here and see what after hours look like. Ooh, yeah. It's not going to be pretty for Panera today. That's a shame. Okay, Tesla. They have earnings coming up. Sort of a darling stock. People are really uh, interested in this and them being successful. And but they don't have multiple weeklies. Probably not enough open interest or volume in them. Let's take a look. Yeah. 
so there's a lot of people uh, looks like apparently buying calls on this baby they have earnings coming up hmm it's really too early there's too much time value in anything that you might want to do for earnings now if you're going to do an earnings play uh, in my mind anyway you want to do it closer to the actual earnings date especially if you're going to uh, try to capitalize on IV by selling something with a high IV in hopes that it will collapse so doing a calendar up here closer to here could be profitable and then uh, Visa Visa earnings tonight and then they have a dividend coming up. So that's a wait and see too. Earning state, not doing anything. All right, so that's it for today. I won't uh, be talking to you until Monday, but I'm getting a lot of comments on my blog and on the videos. So um, it's been really nice, and I appreciate the input. I like to hear what people are saying. So thanks for that. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday. Happy trading.